continue our look at Abram. Last time we saw how God called him to the promised land. But he didn't know it was a promised land yet. But this was a land that God was going to give this great nation. He was going to make from this man Abram. The only problem was Abram didn't have any kids. And God had promised him to be the father of a great nation. Well, he was already 75 years old. That's pretty old to be a dad, but he wasn't a dad. But God always keeps his promises. Well, today we're going to see how God started to make good on the promise to Abram. You see, to be the father of a great nation, Abram needed to be, well, a father. He didn't have a child. And at this point, he was 99 years old. 99. That's pretty old. Yeah, so God told him, remember the promise that I made? You are going to be a father. And you know what Abram's response was? He laughed. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was funny because he was 99 years old. He couldn't believe it. But God, he said, I'm going to keep my promise. In fact, I'm changing your name. Abram, you're now going to be called Abraham. Yeah, Abraham. Abram meant, what did it mean? Exalted father. Yeah, exalted father. Abraham meant father of many. Yeah, crap. He also changes Sarah's name from Sarai to Sarah. Yeah, pretty wild. And he reminded him of his promise. God also told him that he was going to have a son and he was going to name him Isaac. Yeah. You know what Isaac meant? He laughed. <laughs> yeah, he named him after laughing. Yeah, that's crazy. Sometime later, God appeared to Abraham. But this time, he appeared with two angels. And we're uncertain, but it seems like Abraham didn't recognize God. Can you believe that? Anyway, hospitality was very important at that time. Hospitality meant you welcomed somebody and took care of them at your, as your guests. They were strangers in your home, and so you really worked to take care of them. So Abraham invited them to stop on their journey, to wash their feet and rest. Then he got them some food and some water to drink. They asked where Sarah, his wife, was. I wonder if he thought about how they know what her name was. But anyway, he said, she's inside the tent. Yeah. God then told Abraham... In one year's time, Sarah's going to have a baby. Yeah. Now, Sarah, she was in the tent, but she heard God say that. And you know what she did? The same thing Abraham did before. She laughed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this time, God said, why did Sarah laugh? Sarah was afraid now. So she came out and she said, I didn't laugh. But God said, oh, yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one year time from there, they had a bouncing little baby boy named Isaac. Yeah, pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Man, man. Man, Colin! Man. Colin, don't touch the phone! This is my little brother, Colin. Can you say, hi, Colin? Well, that wasn't exactly hi, but yeah. Hey, you know how Isaac's name meant he laughed? I wonder if Colin means he drools. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Probably not. Hang, hang on. Hey, Colin, go play with mommy. All right. Well, that's all we've got time for today. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time on Bible Stories with Georgie.